in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Amen. The correct way to worship God on earth as it is done in heaven now revealed. Revelation chapter 4 verses 2 to 5 And behold a throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone and there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald and round about the throne were four and twenty seats and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment and they had on their heads crowns of gold and out of the throne proceeded lightning and thundering and voices and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Revelation chapter 11, verses 16 to 17. And the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats, fell upon their faces, and worshipped God, saying, We give thee thanks, O God Almighty, which art, and was, and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power, and has reigned. Brethren, my fellow brothers and sisters, the inhabitants of planet Earth, please, please take note and listen very, very attentively to this revelation from the Holy Spirit and see where we all have been doing and saying the wrong things to the displeasure of our Creator and Father God. Brethren, you have heard of the 24 elders that were seated around the throne of God in heaven, how they fell upon their faces and worshipped God, Brethren, you are looking at that heavenly event as it is now fully manifested on planet Earth. Brethren, watch very carefully how the elders presented their crowns to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords as he sat upon his glorious throne. One by one, they bowed their heads, kneeled down, surrendered their crowns, and knocked their heads three times on the ground, intermittently and spontaneously. That is the correct way to worship God on earth as it is done in heaven. Brethren, human beings must worship God on earth exactly as the angels do in heaven. In St. Matthew chapter 6 verse 10 it reads, The 
thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He said, Matthew chapter 26, verse 20, verse 29, it reads, And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed. And in Revelation chapter 11, verse 16, it reads, And the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worship God. My dear brethren, brothers and sisters, people of the world, from the time of Adam to this day, it is only our Lord Jesus Christ who has succeeded in pleasing and worshiping our Father God the Creator currently. It is also, He is also the only one that treat and serve human beings correctly. That is why our Father God sent him into the world, not only to shed his precious blood to, re to redeem you, human beings, to God, but also to demonstrate the correct way of worshiping the Father and how human beings should love and serve one another exactly as he loves them. Brethren, today, no government, no principality and power, no church denomination, no religious cult, no secret society, and in fact, no human being has learned from our Lord demonstration, nor do they practice all of his teachings. Instead, division, hatred, sins and vices, suffering and death have engulfed humanity every day. In spite of the numerous churches, their preaching, their praying and singing, their praying of God to music, their shouting of Jesus, Jesus, and boasting of their wonderful service to God. Brethren, our Father God does not hear nor accept such type of worship and boast. We are existing only because of his endless love and merciful kindness to humanity. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is why our Lord Jesus Christ promised to send the Holy Spirit of truth and comforter into the world to teach us the accurate knowledge of God's truth, to remind us of his teachings, to change us and bring us up to the standard required by God to worship him on earth exactly as the angels are worshiping him in heaven in fulfillment of our Lord's prayer. The Holy Spirit of Truth and Comforter has indeed arrived on earth and he has been carrying out that promise of our Lord Jesus Christ for over 50 years. Today, Jehovah God and his Christ with his kingdom which is the brotherhood of the cross and staff, and with his new government, which is the unified, universal theocracy. They have been fully manifested on earth and have now taken full control of his entire world. The owner of this vineyard has arrived as predicted by our Lord 
Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, today we now have two kingdoms. The kingdom of Jehovah God and his Christ, where love is the ruler, where peace, humility, mercy, righteousness, patience, forgiveness, joy, tolerance, and all the godly virtues are found. And we have also the kingdom of this world where hatred, bribery, corruption, fighting, backbiting, and other sins and vices rule. A kingdom where much of what we do and say are wrong and unacceptable and unacceptable by God and our style and type of preaching and praying are empty and void in the sight of the Almighty God. Now, the kingdom of the world are ending to become the kingdom of Jehovah God and his Christ. The Father's angels, which include water, fire, wind, earthquake, volcano, typhoon, tornado, hurricane, etc., etc., plus the satanic forces of hatred, division, civilian uprising, bribery, corruption, fighting, murder, stealing, pride, anger, pomposity, adultery, idolatry, etc., etc., are now engaged in the ending of this evil and corrupt system of things, as we are now witnessing in the daily global occurrences, which are increasing daily, and they are also intensifying daily. Now, our Father God has forgiven all the inhabitants on earth of all our sins, no matter how hideous they may be. And our Father is now inviting all human beings to enter into his righteous kingdom, which is the brotherhood of the cross and star, on condition that we must repent and confess our sins and accept brotherhood of the cross and star's baptism in order to receive the Holy Spirit that will change us to refrain from committing sins and vices and worship God on earth as it is done in heaven. That is why everyone on planet earth has to be baptized again as explained in the first step to God. We know of two choices. They are either the everlasting kingdom of God or the temporary kingdoms of the world, which are now ending and must end. This is the real freedom of choice between heaven and hell. No one is forced or compelled or bribed or pleaded with or begged to make a decision or choice. It is the Holy Spirit that reveals this truth to the entire world and it is the Father who calls one into his righteous kingdom. 
kingdom where love and humility are the gateway. Brethren, people of the world, our Father God, the Creator, and all of the universe, and all things there in visible and invisible, does not want our money or any material thing. Because everything, including ourselves, everything belongs to Him. All our Father God wants from us, He wants us to kneel down and knock our heads on the ground through every time. Three times on the ground we knock our head and pray to him and thank him for everything because without God we are nothing. Our Father God does not recognize luxurious temples or garments or burning of incense, or lighting of candles, and so forth. All he wants human beings to do is to kneel down from time to time, knock our heads three times on the ground, to our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and thank him for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Father. My dear brethren, please continue to look, listen, and assimilate Brethren, you know we have been playing and joking with our Creator. Our manner of worship and praise is hypocritical and a mockery. We human beings declare as son no respect for God who is the potter and that is the reason for the daily human sufferings trials and tribulation throughout the entire world brethren we now have to start all over again from zero. We have to be reconciled with our Creator and we have to practice His recondite teaching if we want salvation. Amen. Thank you, Father. Oh, my soul, my lips, please. 
Yeah. <laughs>